This week we're gonna do the Blue Planet unit for the Bio Beyond, and this is tied to our signature assignment, which accounts for five percent of your grade. So that's a pretty big deal. So make sure you go through this video, know how to complete this unit, and uh, put together your report. Okay, so let's see. Um, once you are on the Blue Planet unit uh, main page. So you're gonna have to go through a short video, so it's only about two minutes. So once you finish that video, it will take you to this unit main page. And then you can see that there are seven lessons here. And the last lesson is called Submit Your Report. You actually do not need to go through this lesson because you are going to submit your report on Blackboard. Now, like I said, it's part of your signature assignment. So we need to have an official record of your report uh, or a record of your signature assignment on Blackboard. So that's why you're going to submit your report on Blackboard and not here in BioBeyond. If you submit it here, I'm not gonna check, I'm not, I'm not gonna grade. So if you accidentally click on here and submit your report in BioBeyond, that's okay. Uh, you can just leave it there, but you do need to submit another copy on uh, Blackboard, okay? Um, as you go through each lesson, so you just need to do the first six lessons, right? So as you go through each lesson, you need to save the images and some of the information um, because you are going to use all that to write your Blue Planet report. So this is a very important. When you are in each lesson, make sure you save the images that it asks you to save. So let's do an example here. So let's say we are going to the first lesson. So you just hit continue. All right. And not all the images can be saved. If it says here, add observation, that means you can add this image to your observations. So you can just click on that and the image will be added to your observations. And you can use that later for the report. So how do you find your report and how do you find your images? So come to the upper right corner next to your name. There's this Beagle manual. So just click on that and then go to Blue Planet. So when you open that, you will see this is the report that you are going to eventually complete. So it has three sections, analysis, synthesis, and design. So usually when you first time open this tab, the default is the design, which is the last section of the report. I don't know why uh, it can be confusing. So uh, if that's the case, then make sure you click on the analysis tab because that's the first section you have to complete. All right, so that's the three sections of the report. Um, if you wanna see the images you save, you have saved, just come here, click on observations, and then all the images will be here. So once you save it, it will be there forever. You're not gonna lose it, okay? Now there is a glitch on BioBeyond, and this can be really frustrating. So when you come to this bar, when you move it, it scroll up and down, the report, right? It doesn't let you scroll up and down to see all the images you have saved. So what you need to do is to come to this blank space right here between the image and the bar and left click just once and then use the up and down arrows to move, to kind of scroll up and down. So if I want to see the images um, I saved, you can just click on the down arrow. So now you can see all the images. All right, so that's the only way to do it. Um, and then when you work on the report, you have to read very carefully of the title and the description of each section um, and also the conclusion part. So this is going to kind of tell you what image you need to put in here to support your statement. So let's see, the first one, it says, why is the, blue, the, the planet blue? So you need to insert a picture that shows that the Earth is a blue planet. So the first picture, the satellite image, um, can be added here. So you can just really just drag the image into the box and it will be added, all right? If you accidentally add the wrong image, you can just click on here and that will delete the image. And don't worry, if you delete it here, it will still be saved in the observations. Okay, um, I just noticed another glitch, which I didn't see last year, but apparently 
it's here this year. So for oh, here, if you don't want to see the images, if it's kind of in the way, you can't see the report, you can just click on observations one more time and that will put away all the images. So as you scroll down, you will notice that for the first section, the analysis part, you actually do not need to write anything. The only thing you need to do is to add images that are relevant to this section. So you can see all the descriptions, all the conclusions are already there. So you do not need to do too much writing for the first section. Um, the glitch I noticed is here. Okay? So you see for section one and two, the conclusion is already written. But when you come to section three, you see it says you didn't formulate any conclusion yet. Um, and then when I try to click on it, you know, nothing happens. I can't really type anything. So I think this is a glitch because it's supposed to already have something in there and you can just read and then um, put in the images for this part. Okay, so if you see um, a, a gray box for the conclusion, don't freak out. Uh, there should be something there. Uh, you shouldn't do any, you shouldn't need to do anything. All right, so that's analysis part. Um, I can't remember, but I think you have to go through probably the first uh, lesson for sure, probably the, the second lesson as well to finish the analysis part. Um, and then you can go to synthesis. So for this section, you're going to have to write a little bit. So you can just follow the, the instructions. So here in this box, after two to three sentence description of the greenhouse effect. So you are going to kind of enter what you have learned from the lessons. Okay? So you may have to just um, go through a few lessons and get some background information get some knowledge uh, before you come here to fill out all the boxes. And then you're gonna add a couple images to, to kind of demonstrate what the greenhouse effect is. Oh, one thing I forgot to mention is that when you add, let me close this for now. When you add an image, it will ask you to add a short description to the image. And you actually have to do this. You cannot leave it blank because you, later you wouldn't remember what this image is about. And then when I grade your report, I need to see a description for the picture so I know what this picture is about and why um, you put this picture in here. Is it relevant? Okay, so make sure you write a brief description for each image. All right, let's go back to the report. So this is the analysis part. Okay, so make sure for each section, you write something and don't just pay, just copy and paste someone else's um, text. You, you can't plagiarize, right? So I will do plagiarism check to make sure that you don't just copy someone else's writing or another student's writing. Um, and then the last part, the design part. So this is what's tied to your signature assignments. So there are two components for your signature assignment and this is the first component. So you have to set a target. So based on the rubrics, I think the maximum uh, temperature increase is two degrees Celsius. So you can do zero, which is okay. Theoretically, it's okay, but I don't think it's possible to do. So you might not want to do zero, but you can do one or two. So I think that's doable. And you're gonna type your explanation here. The scenarios considered, now this might not make sense now, but once you get to the later lessons of that unit, you are going to kind of manipulate some um, parameters to do some simulations. So you're going to change what you're going to do for transportation, what you're going to do for power and energy. And once you change those parameters, it's going to have predictions as to what the temperature increase is going to be. So you will get results for the different simulations you do, and then you save those images and you're gonna in insert the, those graphs in here. So those are your scenarios, all the things that you have tried. And then you're gonna pick the best one, uh, which means that one is gonna meet your goal of one degree increase or two degree increase maximum. So this is where you insert um, the, the, the best plan. And okay, so that's gonna be the simulation graph here. Um, and then you're gonna indicate what things you have manipulated to get to that target, right? So like I said, there are a few options here. Um, so you may choose transportation and then 
what else uh, let use so if those are the two things that you have manipulated you can just pick them in there and then this is the part where you have to write quite a bit um, there is a description or instruction in the lab manual so it's going to tell you you have to write at least four sentences to explain why your plan is good and what society must do for your plan to be implemented and what will be the economic costs and ecological costs of your plan so I'm going to make a second video on the signature assignment where I will um, talk in more details about how you should complete these sections. Okay. All right. So I'm going to show you a sample report from last semester. So this student did a very good job. Um, hold on a second. So when you complete the report, when you're done with everything, okay, you are going to come here click on print you are not actually going to print a hard copy of the report but you are going to use this button to save your report as a pdf file and then you are going to submit this file to blackboard okay, so when you click on print on the left you will see a preview of your report okay, so the title is already there it's part of the template and it's just going to show your name and what time you completed the report and as you scroll down you will see okay the first part is analysis and then synthesis right once you put in text it will be shown here all right and then you just go to destination so you may have a different um, option there so if you don't see save as pdf just click on the drop down menu and then choose save as pdf okay and then you can decide where you want to save it um, and then upload the file to blackboard so i'm going to cancel that i'm going to show you this sample report okay so that's the first page and usually um you have three pictures for each part okay but for the first part why is the planet blue i think there's only one relevant picture so one picture is fine and then you can see that he has description for all these images, right? So over here is the earth changing now? Yes. So he had two pictures to kind of show you the, the difference between uh, before and now. Right? So you can see that the planet is getting warmer. And then same thing here. Um, so for these parts, you kind of want to read the conclusions too because it often gives you hint as to what image you need to put in here, right? So um, if you look at this part, what happens when the temperature changes too fast? So you can read the conclusion. So what's gonna happen? Temporary forest temporarily migrated toward the poles. So you may have a picture for that. Um, let's see, I think it's this picture, right? Oh, no, never mind. that's not that picture. This is about the uh, glacier disappearing. And then the insects, uh, we temporarily increased um, because the colder areas are now getting warmer so the insects can migrate to those areas so they may destroy our forests right and some other plants so i i think there is a picture um, related to invasive species okay, so you might be able to uh, add that picture in here and also says coral reefs collapsed right so this is the this picture right here the coral reefs are bleaching so just read the conclusions and then you will figure out what pictures you can add in each part. And then um, one more thing I want to show you. So when you come down here, the design part, the last section of the report. Um, so here you need to put it in a number. Like I said, the maximum you can put in there is two degrees Celsius. Um, I think he just accidentally forgot to put a number there or he had trouble entering a number, but he explained here which is good. He said, my goal is two degrees Celsius and why he chose that number. And then scenarios considered, remember, I said, um, these are going to be your simulation results. So he did a few simulations. He did three and then he decided to go with this option because this will uh, generate a maximum warming of 1.9, which is below two. Okay, and then he 
um, describe each of the four sections. So I believe you need at least four sentences for each section, and you need to do some research and cite some articles to support your statement. So that's going to be the second component of your signature assignment,、um, and I'll talk about this in the second video. There's a one glitch I need to mention because that can be really that can be a big pain if you don't know how to、um, solve it. So let's go to the main page of the manual. Not the manual, the website.、Um, so you see, there are a few lessons right here. Now, when students get to the later lessons, keeping balance or designer planet, they have this issue where, let's say, they want to go to designer planet. They click on that lesson, and then you will see description and begin lesson. Begin lesson on the right. So usually, you can just click on begin. Lesson to enter that lesson, but because of some display issue, what happens is that this begin lesson button is too close to submit your report circle. So that when you click on begin lesson to try to get to designer planet, it activates submit your report. So those students have have trouble, you know, getting into the right lesson. So the easy way to fix this is to. Zoom out the screen. So I'm just using a PC, so I can. I'm using Google Chrome, so I can just use Control and the, the minus sign to zoom out. And then once you zoom out, there's going to be enough space to kind of separate the submit your report circle and the begin lesson. So this way, you can just click on that button to get into the correct lesson. All right, I think that's all for the first video,、um, and I'll send you guys the link of the second video when I talk in more details about the signature assignment.